I wake up today to a new kind of hell. I not only have to get ready like other kids, but I have to put effort into putting on my uniform and making sure I look sharp. You see, where I'm from, we don't have football players or other kinds of jocks. We just have Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. I'm not even sure if this is what I want to do with my life, but I can't think of anything else. How else am I supposed to make my life meaningful? <sighs> Great, I'm late. Sarge is going to chew me out for this. How am I to juggle schoolwork, ROTC, and a social life? Especially when general fun or enjoyment is looked down upon. Hey, Dan. Yeah? What's up? Nothing. Do you know what happened to that Brian kid? I think he went somewhere, like in Russia or something, on vacation, but I'm not sure. Seriously? Why? I don't know. Hey, I'd love to stay in chat, but don't you have to be like the school douche or something? Why do you have to be so gay? Don't ever call me gay. Oh! What is your problem? I know I just took all my anger out on Rod, but I couldn't help it. I was just so mad. So what was that? Oh, you saw that? I guess he won't be making any smart-ass comments anytime soon. You know it's true, right? What? You're gay. Look, I don't know you and you don't know me, but I'm not afraid to kick a stranger's ass. I know a lot more than you would expect. What's that supposed to mean? I'm trying to help. Help what? Discover yourself. Well, by all means, stay here and discover yourself, but I'm leaving this freak show. You can't run from what's inside of you. You know what, piece of... Where'd everybody go? They just disappeared. Ryan's in Russia and Dan hope he's dying in a ditch somewhere. Where'd I go wrong? Hey, Dan. You did this to me! I only tried to help you. Funny way of showing it. I should beat the shit out of you. Don't blame me for the insensitivity of your parents. They kicked me out because of your advice. It's not over yet. It kinda is! No. Go talk to Rod. Apologize. Why should I? It's happening. Hey, Brian. Um, could I come in? Sure. Come on in. So, what did you want to talk about? Because obviously something's bothering you. Well, um, first on the agenda was my mom cook kicked me out, and uh, second was it seems like all my friends and family and so on are kind of turning their backs to me, and 
didn't have many other people to talk to. And, uh, you know, you've been in Russia for two weeks, so you don't really know what happened, but I kind of punched Roderick in the face for calling me gay. And uh, he kind of hates me right now, and I don't really have anywhere to go, so I just figured I'd come and talk to you. So. A kid's gone for a few weeks, and this is what fucking happens. All right, why did you punch Roderick in the face? Like I said, he uh, called me gay, and here we are. What I don't understand is why that was such a big deal. So what? I get called gay all the time. They call me an emo fag. I don't, I don't punch kids in the face because of it. Well, it's just that these last few weeks I've been kind of feeling a stronger attraction toward men than uh, women, and um, I guess I didn't really want to believe it at the time, but I'm kind of beginning to move towards acceptance, you know, because it does seem like I might be gay. Kind of was in denial, so I beat the shit out of Roderick. And... <laughs> <laughs> you know, he kind of deserves it. Yeah, he probably did. Uh, <laughs> so you really punched him in the face. Yeah. Uh, just straight up socked him. <laughs> Plus, compared to all the crap he put you through, I guess being called gay isn't that bad. Yeah, well, I kind of forgave him now. I, I mean, he, he's been going through some hard times, but if you ever need a place to stay, you're welcome to stay here. I'm probably just going to be upstairs because I haven't been feeling too well ever since Russia. Uh, apparently there's a big epidemic going on, and that sucks. Uh, yeah, I might just take you up on that. Um, is it, do you mind if I sneak back into my place and grab some of my stuff? Uh, sure, man. Whatever you feel like doing. Uh, Okay, thanks. Hey, by the way, uh, I'll give a good word in with Roderick for you. Maybe he'll forgive you. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Hey, did you hear about Dan? Turns out he's gay. Yeah, I heard he came out. I take some serious balls. I could never do that, even if I was gay. Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, hey, we were just talking about you. Well, that really takes some balls. Yeah, I'm proud of you, man. Thanks. Hello? Yeah. Love you too. I'll be home later. Bye. Are you recording? <laughs> no. Whoop! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Don't ever call me gay. Okay, that was... Don't ever call me gay. You're gay. Okay. You're gay. <laughs> you don't know me, and I don't know you, but I'm not afraid to kick a stranger's ass. I know a lot than you'd expect. <laughs> then you might expect. And then you broke up right there. I don't know you, and you don't know me. I know a lot more than you would expect. Look, you don't know me, and I don't know you. But I'm not gay, and I'm not afraid to kick a stranger's ass. <laughs> oh my oh, god. That one was perfect. I know. Hey, Dan! <laughs> Jesus, man! You're gay.